Fora TV. The world is thinking. Objectivity is something. When I went to school 40 years ago, I always wanted to be a newspaper reporter. That's what I wanted to start out as. And objectivity was the ideal. And the ideal of journalism then was that there are always two sides to every question, which is certainly true in often four or five or six or seven. But the problem with a certain kind of journalistic objectivity is that it locates truth as always being equidistant from two points. And I'll give you a very good example of that and then stop because I'm sure everybody else has thoughts about this. But since you brought up the anti-vaccine movement and the MMR movement, invariably American television is giving a great deal of coverage to this, uh, has, has for some years. It, this controversy started in England before it moved to the United States. One of the few things in which we got a bad import from you as opposed to our credit crisis. And invariably, when television does interviews, the, the print media are not so bad. When they do television interviews, there will be two people. There will be a scientist, an immunologist, and he'll be citing 16 studies, including the best one from Denmark, where they keep the most perfect health records in the world. And they compared immunized against unimmunized children and found exactly the same rates of increase in autism over the last 10 years. And then on the other side, so the scientists will be talking. And, and this is good research. It's not research on 46 people. It's research on thousands and thousands over a period of years. And then on the other side, there will be a parent, a parent for whom you have immense sympathy because one of the worst things in the world that can happen to them as a parent has happened. They're apparently healthy 18-month or 2-year-old received some kind of an immunization, and a few weeks later started to show some of the symptoms of classical autism, including withdrawal from social contact. Now, there is no way anybody is going, in other words, the, the, the belief of the parent that this is what caused it, even though, in fact, almost all symptoms of classical autism appear at this time, which is why other studies have found that there's no difference in the rates of autism at that age. But when you present it in this way by the media, and they present so many issues this way, what you are saying is, is the experience of one heartbroken parent has exactly the same weight as the experience of people, including pediatricians, who have been studying this subject for years because they also want, would like to know if, if vaccines cause autism. And also, there never is any historical background given. Uh, and the journalists doing the interview are too young to remember what it was like to be young when I was young. And your parents wouldn't let you go out to play in the summer because they were so terrified of polio. And thousands of children died and tens of thousands were crippled every year by polio. So this is what I mean by this is not about truth. Objectivity of that kind is not about truth. It's about giving the nonsensical, and what is closer to certainty, an equal voice.